<laughs> nah, to be real, like to me, that beat was infectious. So it was like, but I mean, the real me, like how it, I feel about things, I I put it into like words. Like I've I've been that way since I was little. Like when I was growing up, little. I got um, put into a special education class. So it took me a long time to um, adapt to what people were saying because what confused me, the words they were saying, I took it literally and then I tried to uh, have that type of common sense, but my entire thought process was, I can't, if you say boat, I don't understand it as boat. I don't know what that is. Cause I'm gonna be thinking, how far was the sail up here? Are you talking about a battleship? You've got all of time that I'm dealing with. What I was trying to tell people, like, if you have patience with me for a second, explain to me exactly what you are talking about and what you want in your vernacular. It doesn't make sense to me. In mine, it will. Like, I'll, I'll know it without words is the best way I can put it. Like, if you speak my language, I'll speak yours. It's an invisible. And then I just get called crazy and all that. So what I learned is I'm not really soft. In fact, I'm a killer. Now, mix that with this. <sighs> Which one? Counterfeit or the real one? Then it comes down to what voice? That sounds like Brian. To really love a woman, to understand her, you gotta know her deep inside. Hear every thought. See every dream Give her wings when she wants to lie And when you find yourself lying in hell With the thing Ashley Makatashler with the thing. Mm. 
Well, how are you God if you haven't killed people? <clears throat> this is really, well. And um, would you, um, would you like to talk about why you attempted to kill yourself? You want Don Juan de Marco, the world's greatest lover, to talk to you. What do you know of great love? Have you ever loved a woman until milk leaked from her, as though she had just given birth to love itself and now must feed it or burst? Have you ever tasted a woman until she believed that she could be satisfied? only by consuming the tongue that had devoured her. Have you ever loved a woman so completely that the sound of your voice in her ear could cause her body to shudder and explode with such intense pleasure that only weeping could bring her full release? <clears throat> oh, you have not, so shut up. <laughs> well, <laughs> what would you expect? <laughs> the thing. <laughs> that one. Mm. Yo, Marshawn, you ever miss that taste of Super Bowl victory? You know Lays tastes like winning the Super Bowl, right? Go ahead, grab one. I'd like to present for you now, if I may, a uh, song that has just uh, been added to my repertoire, a beautiful, beautiful song that was written by the great Canadian singer-songwriter, Mr. Brian Adams. This song features in a movie entitled Don Juan de Marco, and I'd like to present for you now, Have You Ever Really Loved a Woman? <laughs> 